Hi everyone, today I'll show you how I've built this very simple 12 volt battery backup circuit for my home alarm system that features a regulated 9 volt output for powering the sensors. I recently purchased a wireless alarm system for my home that uses 9 volt batteries for the sensors. However, while building the house I've already installed the wiring for the wired alarm, so I decided to centralize the power for the alarm and power the sensors from there. This way, I will not need to replace the batteries every few months and the entire system can be powered for quite some time in an event that power is cut to the house. The battery that I used is a 12 volt lead acid battery that's specifically designed for such applications. It can be trickle charged to a specific voltage of around 13 volts without losing too much capacity over time. Mine is 7 amp hours, so in theory it can power the system for more than 48 hours. Depending on the system, you can choose to go up and down depending on your requirements. The circuit is very simple and it only consists of few components. For the regulated output to the sensors, we have the LM317 adjustable voltage regulator. We have two 1N4007 diodes to prevent any reverse current flow in the event of a power loss a 1 kilo ohm resistor to limit the current output from and to the battery and two more resistors to set the correct voltage output to 9 volts on the regulator. In order to calculate the values for the resistors, I use this handy calculator from Circuit Digest for which you can find the link below. You can play around with the values of R2 and R3 to find what works for you. Additionally, there are four screw terminals on which all of the components attach to. J1 is for the input power source, J2 is where the 12 volt battery is connected, J3 is the 12 volt output for the central alarm unit and J4 is the 9 volt regulated output. Once I had the schematic ready, I've built it up on a perf board, made sure to test everything on the bench and then proceeded to install it in the wall mounted box for the enclosure. There all of the sensor cables are converging so I connected everything up and I made sure to isolate all of the connections as a safety measure. To power the entire system, I'm using a 12 volt LED power supply that's been voltage adjusted to output 13.8 volts. I've been running the circuit for over a few months now and it has run without issues. It is easily adjustable to work with a lot more voltages and you can add indicator LEDs or additional regulated power output if you choose so. If you have any suggestions on how to improve the circuit then feel free to leave them down in the comments and if you like this video be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button as it helps me make more such videos. Cheers and thanks for watching.